Hello, Dr. Shirak. How are you? I am fine, sir. Very good evening. Good evening. And I bring in all the wishes and greetings from Speed Institute, from all the faculties and the team to you uh, for doing a fabulous and a fantastic and a great job and a wonderful achievement of scoring rank number one uh, in PGI. Thank you, sir. And in DM uh, Pulmonology, Pulmonary Medicine. Yes, yes sir. Correct? Yes, yes. So, uh, can we know something about Dr. Shirak from where he comes from, where he did his medicine, where he did his MD, and uh, why he wanted to do uh, DM pulmonary medicine, pediatric pulmonary medicine? Yes, sir. I, uh, I have done my MB. I am from Rajasthan, Jodhpur, Jodhpur, okay. Rajasthan, and I pursued my uh, MBBS from Mangalore K. Sagre Medical Academy. And then I entered in MD Pediatrics at AIM Jodhpur itself. Okay. And after that, I was uh, doing my SRC fair. Then I got into, uh, during my MD days only, I got interested in pediatric pulmonology because of my mentors and guide, thesis guide. So basically that has led me to choose pediatric pulmonology and uh, followed by md i have done one year of fellowship in pediatric pulmonary medicine at aims jodhpur itself and now i got into pediatric pulmonology dm excellent, excellent. Now, now can you can tell, you tell us, us uh, when, did when did you start, start how did you start, start? What, what is the preparation strategy, strategy? What, what all you did to achieve this uh, the preparation strategies was like i have given uh, last year also the entrance and i felt like uh, that uh, mo more of i was little bit weak in general pediatrics that i felt that i should uh, work more on that after giving first entrance so in uh, second time i was a uh, little bit thorough with pediatric pulmonology part because i was doing my fellowship as well here so that part was uh, strong that this time i focused more on general pediatrics and somehow i got through the exam by doing a little bit good in general pediatrics. So how, how did you prepare? How many hours you spent per day? I mean, what are the methodology of preparation? How many revisions you did? I was basically working uh, also along with the preparation. So I was not getting that much time. But uh, whatever I time used to get, I used to, uh, whatever, like uh, my study was whatever patients you are getting in the ward, read that topic. So I used to read that topic and uh, used to revise that whenever I used to get the time. So basically that was uh, more of my strategies. And I used to attend the speed lectures. However, sometime I used to miss because of duties and all. But I used to uh, go to go back to the videos and learn. So more of general pediatrics video I have concentrated more. So that I can get more questions of general pediatrics correct. So, did you watch all the videos? Not all the videos, but most of them I had. Uh, because of time constraint, I was not able to go through all the videos. But especially pediatric pulmonology and general pediatrics, I have concentrated more. So, were they, were they useful to you for your exams? Yes, sir. They were uh, really useful. Basically, you get what all, uh, as the pediatric is a uh, very last subject, general pediatrics itself. So where to concentrate, that was important. What all topics are, are really important for the exam. So that uh, it helped me a lot, like general pediatrics part, especially. How many questions you attended, doctor? I have attended uh, 80 out of 80 questions. Wow. <laughs> Great. Superb. So all 80 questions and uh, and yes. what is the concept behind that? Because I have heard all the first rankers in all the specialities, they have almost 95% of them have done 80 out of 80. I mean, is there any strategy that you had in your mind? Strategies behind that is that the, there is a, in pediatric pulmonary only one seat was there. One seat. So if you want to go through, <laughs> in last entrance, I have done the mistake that I have attended out of 100, I have attended 90 questions. 
and that time i felt like uh, if i would have attended 10 more question would have because the margin was very close when uh, i didn't clear so basically the strategy this time was to attend all the question and this time i felt during paper also that most of the questions are more of clinical based so we should guess it appropriately and you may get right so i attended all the 80 questions sir what could be the mindset if there is only one seat available and to fight for one and compete for one how how is how is that workable even people who are 10 15 seats uh, they feel very uh, dejected or depressed they don't want to go all out but only one seat and what is the strategy and what is the attitude towards that the main thing is you should be relaxed before the exam when you go in stress uh, whatever you have because the questions which are coming uh, nowadays are more of clinical based so if you are working and doing all your job you might click many of question that you have seen this patient and you may get this so before going to entrance you should be relaxed have a good sleep before the exam i did this time but not the last time so someone has advised me that you should be relaxed before the exam so i did this and it was really helpful for me that i was uh, not worried about because i have already gone got my one of the degree and done the fellowship further so i was relaxed that whether i get the seat or not it doesn't matter but i should be relaxed and do my best during the exam so you should have a good uh, relaxation at not be, uh, you should study before the exam but one day before you should be a uh, little relaxed don't stress up because you have studied all the things correct perfectly said this what dr vijay williams also said because this, the only one seat is there very difficult to get who has a faculty for pulmonology pediatric pulmonology in speed yes. yes. he is also from pgi and yes. and uh, he also used to tell me sir only one seat sir and uh, every year so it's very difficult even to get resource people for that to teach so and uh, it's wonderful that you have made it and we are very happy and once again uh, before uh, and and you can tell the message what do you want to say uh, mean to your juniors or your friends who are aspiring for uh, dm pediatric pulmonology uh, what should they follow and what should they do yeah so uh, pediatric pulmonology basically still an unexplored branch because of limited seats people usually go for other specialties so first you ha- should have a interest because i had the interest since my md days so i choose that this branch is good for me i can do uh, fair with this branch justify this branch so basically that target should be there then you uh, should uh, study all together whatever you have studied in your md days especially the general pediatrics part is deciding factor because uh, whoever is preparing for that especially he will he will be good in that part so basically uh, if you are preparing for pediatric pulmonology you will be good but not in the general pediatrics and that is the deciding factor on most of the exams so basically concentrate uh, both but uh, give little weightage to general pediatrics for entrance per se really wonderful doctor to have you here and uh, once again i bring in all the wishes and greetings to you and for okay. and for taking up a very rare opportunity a career to get into and very limited seats are there you have made it into dm pediatric pulmonology and definitely uh, the speciality will have a greater impact and also your contribution will be uh, mean looked upon and also your uh, services to the community to be rendered on this speciality is going to be enormous and huge and uh, definitely you are a great resource person from now on i wish you all the best and all the success to days and years to come thank you so much thank you and wish you a happy new year to you to your family members happy new year to you thank you and to all your friends and relatives hats off to you thank you